Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today we're back in Atlantic City. We're going to do another food video today. Uh, we're doing more and more food videos lately because you guys seem to like them. We're on the Atlantic City boardwalk. It's a beautiful autumn evening here and we're going to stop into the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino to check out their Harvest Buffet. I'm in Atlantic City for several days at different hotels uh, for the sole purpose of going into different restaurants, having some good meals, and bringing them to you guys in the form of video on the New York channel. The Hard Rock's website says, Embark on a culinary tour of the world where every meal is a show-stopping chef's performance. Fresh Harvest Buffet offers assorted pasta selections, comfort foods, fresh seafoods, Asian cuisines, carving stations, and desserts to die for. There's something for every taste from an ever-changing menu, allowing you to try something new every time. And more about that menu shortly. Fresh Harvest Buffet is on the second floor of the uh, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, so when you go into those main doors right off the boardwalk, you're going to make a left immediately in front of you are escalators. Take those escalators up like we just did. Hold on tight. Go down the hallway and you'll find Fresh Harvest Buffet. Hope you bought your appetite. Let's check it out, shall we? Just blurring out the receipt because it has some personal information, but I paid when I walked in. It was $31.98, and that's excluding a tip. And uh, considering the amount of food I'm about to eat, it's a pretty good deal. So my game plan tonight, and as I do more of these buffet videos, my game plan will probably get better, but I'm going to start off doing what I call a flyby on everything that's being offered here at this buffet. And then I'll go up and uh, check out things individually as I plate them. So starting all the way on the left, because that's how I'm going to do it, we have shrimp, lemons, some cocktail sauce, horseradish, and oysters. Next up is rolls, and we have some toasted bread along with a lot of pats of butter. Then there's the green salad and tons of salad toppings after that. Next up is some cold salads and fruit, and no worries, I know I'm not getting a close-up on a lot of this stuff. I am coming back, I'm just trying to see what they have here so I can get a game plan in place and I'll know how to fix my plates. Here we have all the sides. I see baked macaroni, some kind of vegetable melody, some uh, looks like stuffing, and some asparagus and potatoes, and I guess the entrees are coming up shortly. I see some spare ribs, some fried chicken, some broiled chicken, and a whole bunch of Asian food coming up. Looks like spring rolls, some lo mein, some fried rice, and some sweet and sour chicken. I also see some french fries by those meats down there. Over by the carving station, they have different types of pastas and different types of sauces for those pastas. They have a pizza oven here. Looks like they're serving up a uh, regular cheese pie, a pepperoni pie, and a white pie. And down at the very end, they have a carving station uh, where they're carving up some prime rib. And over at the dessert station, it looks like they're serving up some Italian gelato. They have crepes to order with all kinds of filling and toppings. And then we have the uh, baked goods section here. That looks pretty good. Lots of cookies, cakes, brownies, and some Italian pastries as well. And then they have these little shot glasses filled with all kinds of mousses and puddings and jellos and custards and all kinds of toppings as well. And finally at the end, some bread pudding. Alrighty, so I went back to my table, made up my game plan. Uh, the waiter had my uh, unsweetened iced tea waiting for me when I got back to the table. I'm gonna start off with some nice shrimp cocktail and bread. It wouldn't be a shrimp cocktail without lots of lemons. We'll get some cocktail sauce. I'm gonna pass on the horseradish. It looks like there's plenty in this cocktail sauce to begin with. And I don't eat oysters, so we'll just pass on those. I'm gonna grab a couple of rolls and some butter, and the salad is here, but I can't possibly eat everything at this buffet, so I'm gonna pass on the salad. What? What are you laughing at? If you had to pass on something, it would probably be the salad too. 
So I think that's good for starters. The place isn't mobbed, so I can get up and down as many times as I want. So I'm not gonna overstuff these plates. I'm just gonna make more trips back and forth to the buffet. But this looks like a good starter plate. The shrimp were ice cold and fresh and tender. They weren't tough or anything. And the lemons and cocktail sauce were cold as well. And the bread was very fresh. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Okay, that was just a little starter plate. Now for some serious food, let's start off with some Asian fare. Did you ever notice that buffet plates are somewhat smaller than your standard plate? I wonder why that is. Hmm. Okay, so first up we have some lo mein. I love lo mein, so I'm gonna get some of that. Then some fried rice. Some sweet and sour chicken. They have some sauce packets here, but I don't think I need any extra sauce. There's some lemon shrimp, but I just had shrimp, so I don't want any more of that. But they do have spring rolls, so I'll take a couple of those. They did have a spicy Asian chili sauce, so I took a little of that for the spring rolls. And here's my walking with a full buffet plate back to my table shot. You'll be seeing a couple of those tonight. Well, this looks like a nice Asian plate that I made up here. And I uh, stopped at the meat and sides part of the buffet because I just wanted to uh, do an Asian plate. I got some fried rice and what I like about this fried rice is it looks like it doesn't have any scrambled eggs. And a lot of people say it's not fried rice without scrambled eggs, but I don't know if the chef forgot about it or if it was intentional, but that's okay with me because you guys know I don't like eggs. I have some sweet and sour chicken, I got the spring rolls with that uh, Asian chili sauce, and some really good looking lo mein. So far, everything's pretty good. The uh, fried rice was missing something. I can't put my finger on it and know it's not scrambled eggs. I'm talking about some kind of seasoning or flavoring or something. It's just missing something. It's still good, but it's missing something. And the um, sweet and sour chicken, a little mushy, but I notice with uh, Asian food, every time I order chicken, no matter what restaurant I'm in, it's always a little mushy. I don't, um, maybe it's the way they cook it, I don't know. The lo mein was perfect. And the spring rolls were stuffed mostly with cabbage, but you get what you pay for. Everything was piping hot and fresh. And I noticed when I was up there online, they're constantly changing out the uh, food trays. So that's the way it should be. Uh, everything is constantly rotated and it doesn't lay there that long. Hey you, are you enjoying this video? I'm hoping you are. And if you are, why not hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. As I've always said, it does help the channel out and quite frankly, it motivates me and gets me out of bed in the morning. And I always said the best way to start the day is getting out of bed. So why not subscribe? Hey, it's Jeff from New York. These tongs are giving me three French fries at a time. I need one of those huge uh, McDonald's scoops. I'm not sure if these are fried plantons or cow patties, but I'll find out when I get to the table. And this one's another mystery. It's kind of star-shaped pastries with some kind of stuffing inside. Again, when I get to the table, I'll find out what it is. Or maybe I'll still be clueless even after eating it. Next up looks like some kind of a beef stew. I'll pass on that. I didn't come to a buffet for a beef stew. And I'll take a barbecued spare rib and pass on the broiled chicken. 
And of course, nothing goes better with carbs than mashed potatoes and gravy. Now they did have fried chicken here and it looked pretty good, but if you watched my MGM Grand Buffet, it was my first buffet in years, uh, I picked up what I thought was fried chicken and it was actually some kind of very fishy fish that was fried. Uh, but it looked just like chicken. Uh, so you can imagine my surprise when I eat that. I don't think I'm ever going to get fried chicken again at a buffet just because of that. When it comes to food, I've learned a long time ago that sometimes you have a oh my god moment that's really good and sometimes you have a oh my god moment that's just horrible. When you take a big bite into what you think is fried chicken and it turns out to be a really strong fishy fish, that's an oh my god horrible moment. By the way, did you notice I just picked up some uh, mac and cheese? It looks really good and cheesy. So you guys know I'm not totally used to this whole buffet thing and uh, I didn't know what to do with my dirty dishes when I sat down. I had my shrimp and my rolls and I had a dirty dish and I have a cafeteria mentality where you bring the dirty dishes back to a place where dirty dishes go. But I just left mine on the table and let me tell you something. It's like magic. Your, your dirty stuff just disappears while you're getting more food. It's amazing. Well, here we are. I have some spare ribs. I have mashed potatoes and gravy. Some really good looking mac and cheese. I have these star shaped pastries stuffed with something which I'll find out shortly. Some french fries. I would like more french fries but those tongs weren't working for me and either some fried plantons or cow patties, I'm not sure. So the star-shaped pastries were stuffed with crab and it was really good. I, I think they're called crab ragoons. Uh, that's, I'm assuming that's what they are and they are very good. Super crunchy on the outside and nice and creamy inside. Lots of crab flavor. And I really wasn't expecting much from these french fries. I expected them to either be super soggy or hard as a rock because, well, it's a buffet and these french fries are sitting there for a while. But let me tell you something, they were crispy on the outside and like mashed potatoes on the inside. They were perfect. They just needed a little salt. Uh, actually, most of this buffet food, I don't normally season my food at the table, but most of the buffet food does need seasoning. And these items, which I'm going to assume hopefully are plantons, fried plantons, and not cow patties, had no taste whatsoever. So I, because I was a little confused, I just left them on the plate. Mmm, one more bite. Yeah, that's okay. And the spare rib was tender and juicy, but it didn't taste like barbecue. It just tasted more like roast pork. The mashed potatoes were good for restaurant mashed potatoes. Um, nobody makes mashed potatoes like my mom, and no matter where I go, they're just not that good because my mom makes them fantastic. However, these weren't that bad, and of course, a lot of gravy helps. Then there was the baked macaroni, or the mac and cheese. What do you guys call it? Leave a comment below. Uh, it was fantastic, probably the best thing here at the buffet. Uh, the topping was just crispy. It was tons of ooey gooey cheese inside. It was nice and hot in uh, a really, really good mac and cheese. Next time I come to the Harvest Buffet, I'm coming with one of those gallon sized Ziplocs for the mac and cheese. Next up, the pasta pizza carving station area, and uh, quite honestly, I just have no room for pasta. I'm going to get a couple slices of pizza and even pass on the prime rib. I'm really not a prime rib person. I love steak, I just don't like the prime rib cut. Did I ever mention how awkward vloggers look when they're trying to get through life with one hand constantly on a camera?
Just by lifting these slices off the peel, I know they're not going to be that great. They're just very limp. Don't forget to check out my book, 50 Attractions and Many Tips When Visiting Las Vegas. It's down at the bottom in the description of this video that you're watching. It's only $4.99, instantly downloaded to your computer, tons of pictures and fantastic tips if you plan on visiting Sin City. Now the crust is a great color, but it just doesn't match the texture. It's really soggy and limp and uh, I mean, come on Hard Rock, this is the East Coast. There are slices in Las Vegas putting you to shame right now and that's just not right. It looks like they have a great pizza oven there, I just don't know what the problem is. That's the best I could do with the pizza, shame on you Hard Rock. Alrighty, let's move on to the dessert station here. And uh, the first thing I'm going for are the crepes. And for some reason, I thought they like made crepes for you. Like they stuffed them and they topped them and they put them on your plate. No, they pretty much just make crepes and you got to put your own toppings on top of them. And here again, another example of the awkward one-handed vlogger move. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I'm here on Halloween, thus the uh, orange and brown desserts in uh, a lot of costumes you might have seen during this video as well. And lots of people, I was amazed how many people came dressed up as uh, Harvest Buffet employees. So I got my crepe with some raspberry compote and whipped cream. I got a brownie. I got a uh, cannoli and eggclair. I'm doing pretty good here. I was about to take a couple of these, but they all say sugar free and well, that's not for me. Now these look very similar to the desserts that I had at the MGM Grand Buffet. They're little plastic shot glasses with like custards and mousses and puddings and jellos and things in them. Uh, tiramisu and all different flavors. I really enjoyed them at the MGM Grand. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy them here. They're only like a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half each, so why not take about half a dozen? And here we have bread pudding, which I'm going to have to pass on. Not because I don't like bread pudding, I just have no more room left on my plate. Hence the curse of the small buffet plates. And I see lots of people walking around with two plates, but then I'd have to carry my camera in my mouth. Oh look, the used plate gods visited my table again. All right, so let me see if I remember what I got here. I got the uh, crepe on the bottom with some raspberry compote and some fresh whipped cream. I have a uh, brownie, a cannoli, a eggclair. I love those Italian pastries. And then as far as those shot glass things, I got some Jello, which is kind of a ripoff. That's hospital food. I don't expect that at a buffet. I have some chocolate mousse. I have some coconut custard, and I believe a tiramisu. Everything, with the exception of Jello, of course, was very good and very sweet. By the way, once again, these shot glasses require two hands. I only have one available. This last one wasn't a coconut custard as I thought. It's rice pudding with whipped cream and cinnamon on top. Just as good. Now the crepe, which I thought would be a huge disappointment, was actually warm and very light and fluffy. 
and the raspberry compote was uh, extremely fresh just like the whipped cream on top of it this wasn't like some jarred raspberry jam or anything like that this was fresh raspberries and fresh whipped cream I really enjoyed the crepe so fresh harvest at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino was my second buffet uh, video here on the New York channel and what I have to say so far about buffets which really weren't my thing and they're kind of growing on me but I guess the best I can say is they're really good values if uh, you're very hungry and you're looking for a cafeteria style type of food and service. Um, it Nothing beats a tablecloth, a nice meal, good service, atmosphere, candlelight, a nice dinner. Um, but as far as buffets are concerned, they are good values and I enjoyed everything, pretty much everything that I ate here tonight. And if you want to see everything that was served here at the Fresh Harvest Buffet tonight, just put your video on pause and you can read the entire menu right here. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.